Good evening, it's the latest shit currently, as of uh, recording this, and there are some cultured people blasting very loud music outside, so I apologize if um, that comes through on the recording or the microphone. I'm wishing everyone a very happy fucking, what was the day? Oh yeah, Veterans Day. Um, it was recorded slightly before, you may be watching it during, slightly after. Respect your veterans, fucking show them gratitude if you know any personally. Um, hopefully they were on the right side of the wars, hopefully none were a part of the Axis. But, um, that is not the point of this video. The point of this video is more of a niche topic that, um, if it doesn't apply to you, oh well, unlucky. Go watch something else. I'm sure plenty of, uh, plenty of my shit does apply to you. But for those, um, who it does apply to, it's a very niche, but, like, very personal topic. And, um, it can have, like, a big negative impact in your life if you don't deal with it in due time. And that is self-sabotage, the consequences of your actions, and the fact that you deserve good things if you fucking work for them. Um, this all sounds probably very confusing, and this video is a part, a smaller part of a larger project that's gonna have more editing, more effort, take more time to produce. But alas, for today, we just have the base ideas and hints at what is to come. Now, what am I talking about here? Again, niche issue. Niche issue, I'm fucking retarded. Niche, not niche, that's a philosopher. It is niche, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Niche issue. Hope you can relate. Hope I spelled that right as well. Now, why I title this, You Deserve Good Things. I, for one, this used to be a massive issue in my life, um, and the reason I'm fucking making a video about it now, seemingly all of a sudden, is because I just realized it, just had this realization, just started to work on it and solve it, really. And it's the fact that I never used to take any opportunity that was uh, presented to me if I wasn't forced to. Right, and this is for a variety of reasons and a variety of like severities. For example, if like I was at like I don't know some party and shit, and it's like, "Hello, would you like some cake? May I please have a water?" Like the one guy with the Burger King crown on the airplane. He said something else, but I can't say that without having uh, repercussions. Basically, let's say um you get fucking offered some snack on the plane or something. Not on the plane. <laughs> I have the fucking "May I please have a water?" guy stuck in my head. You get offered some um, snack at a party or some shit. Maybe one of your one of your friends brings it to the function. You know, there's Hennessy at the function, and it gets offered, and they're like, "Hey, would you like some?" And not because of any fitness goals you have. Obviously, people can refuse those sorts of things because they're like, they have certain goals. But um, no matter what this is, even if this was um just a very minute gesture, again, I would always just say, "Yeah, no, I'm good." No matter what, no, no matter if it's like, no, but please have it, please, like, I, I brought, I brought enough for everyone. I brought this so everyone can fucking share, everyone can have it and have a grand old time, have a hoot and, and a holler. I'd be like, yeah, no, I'm good. And they'd be like, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. And this would be for everything. And this would translate into, um, opportunities where it's like, I don't know, different events in public where it's like, hey, do we have a volunteer? I would never be the volunteer. And, um, the life you lead when you, what's it called, take this mindset of never going for any opportunity, just always being so fucking reserved, shy, uh, not because you don't want to, but because you feel like, y you know, this can come in, uh, like, a variety of flavors, variety of packages, ver fuck me, my fault, it's pretty late, variety of, um, flavors, this self-sabotage, this could be that you don't feel like you deserve it, this could be that, you know, You've had some other prior experience in your life where probably your parents um, denied you certain opportunities that they shouldn't have. And um, what's it called? Th that now results in you fucking saying no to every uh, every chance you get to do something, even if it is minute and uh, inconsequential. Basically, whatever the reason, it's not going to lead you down anywhere good because nothing is going to happen. Nothing is going to fucking get done in your life if you don't um, volunteer, if you don't take that proactive spot. If, you, if you're not the one who, who's, like, signing up for the cool thing, you know, you're in the middle of the comedy show, and it's like, hello, maybe, please have a volunteer to demonstrate or shit. Like, you have to be the guy. You have to be the guy who raises their hand. It's like, hello, please pick me. Because that's when shit actually happens in your life. I'm not sure how much sense this is all making. To me, it makes a lot of sense. Hopefully, you can interpret some things from this, and if you're anything like me, you can relate to it. Because... Up until now, again, and, you know, from now on, I'm always going to be the guy. I'm just fucking immediately, yes, please sign me up. Obviously not in, like, a 
stupid way where it's like, hello, would you like to join the Marines instantly? Yes. Obviously, it's not going to be anything like that. But if there's an opportunity, and especially um, one that you worked for, fucking take the opportunity. Please don't let anyone else steal it from you. You have to prioritize yourself. And um, a good amount of scenarios that, like, what's it called? We just don't get taught these things, right? We always get taught to prioritize. Others, you know, always accept everyone, fucking love everyone equally. Yeah, that's cool. But it's a lot more powerful to, um, what's it called? Have that position when you yourself are good. Because most people, yeah, they're fucking tolerant, they're accepting. But deep down, they're not really. They're just, like, doing that at the surface level. And um, good reason of why they aren't really... Uh, all of what they fucking portray themselves as in reality is because they themselves are fucking resentful because uh, they let everyone else take their opportunities they didn't actually like they didn't actually volunteer for shit and they feel like they're missing out and they are missing out because they're just too scared to um take that for whatever reason now if you can relate to this uh the reason i wrote that this is probably a yikesy topic at its core is because this is probably not not very normal right um, this is probably not something, like, inherent that you were just born with. This was, again, probably some prior memories caused by some form of trauma or another. Now, I know all the fucking actual, like, lobotomy patients use the word trauma on, like, TikTok and all these social medias to, like, you know, the, all these, like, the Starbucks girls fucking whatever, and they don't understand what the word means. But this quite literally is the essence of, um, y you got a bunch of fucking even if they're minor, like, uh, traumatic events, to where figures in your life who should have been doing their jobs were not doing their jobs, and therefore they didn't teach you how to properly be. And therefore, you're always fucking reserved, never taking these opportunities. And, um, yeah, it just does not lead down anywhere good, as I've stated previously. Now, if you don't have this problem, wonderful. You've just been saved a bunch of, uh, needless mindfuckery mental gymnastics and, um, issues, right? But if you can relate any... Is that... Is that still the music outside? Okay, I can't tell if that's just, like, an actual homeless man yelling, or if that's still a part of the rap song they're playing. In either case, that doesn't pertain to us. So, if you can relate to this whatsoever, um, what's it called? Just be, wear be wary of it throughout the day. Try to take more opportunities as you f see fit. And, uh, yeah, go outside your, outside of your comfort zone in that respect for the reasons that I outlined previously. Now, conversely, this was about, uh, you fucking deserve cool shit. If you worked for it, take the opportunity, do whatever, you're there, uh, enjoy it. Conversely, know when your predicament is your own doing. This is when, uh, a bunch of people are, like, I think the best example I can say is, like, you fucking die in a video game. Let's say you get fucking shit on in Fortnite, and it's not due to, like, lag or anything, it's due to, like, you're just a, you're just a worse player than the guy who killed you. Now, um, the lesser man will be like, oh, I fucking lagged, my wall didn't build, holy shit. Now, even if you genuinely do think that that's the case, in reality, there was probably something you could have done to, uh, prevent it, right? And this sort of self-pity of thinking that the universe is against you, which is in this case thinking that the game just hates you, and that's why it gave you fucking higher input delay, made your wall not build in time, all this shit. Like, it, it, feels, it feels nice, it feels good to um, have, the, have this mindset, because it takes all the responsibility off of you, but it doesn't actually help in any way. The much better player would be like, oh shit, I forgot to do a right hand peek there. I, I left myself exposed, I was kind of retarded. Um, I'm not going to do that next time. And that's how you actually grow. Because nothing gets done that you don't do yourself. And that's a quote from Chris Dermy from the hilarious YouTube channel First Man. Now rebranded to 1M. And it, it really is a good quote. And uh, another, another good example of why this is a thing uh, is a fucking, for example, group project in, in schools. I think group project in schools, unless you like luck out with your group and get actual like turbo nerds, um... Nothing gets done that you don't do yourself, right? You cannot rely on all your teammates uh, to, like, do the shit for you. And all your group members to do, to do the shit for you. And sometimes you even have to be very proactive. Because sometimes they don't even do their part, right? So you have to make sure to at least pay your dues. At least do your parts. Because nothing gets done that you don't do yourself. So, fucking know that uh, 
you deserve good things, obviously, um, if you work for them, as we discussed in this point, but you also deserve the bad thing if they are the consequence of your actions. Um, I was about to share my opinion on an ongoing political event to illustrate my point. Uh, that would be unwise. All I'm going to say is, this is an In the Name of God by Sabaton reference, the consequence of your actions. Now, knowing all this, go forward, fucking celebrate Veterans Day. Go say hello to a veteran. Go say thank you for being a veteran to a veteran. And obviously ask them if uh, what they are a veteran of. And, um, you know, make sure that they are not, like, fucking Nazi hiding in Argentina or some shit. Is that going to get this video demonetized? I'm probably not going to be monetized for another few months. But after that... I, I'm predicting it, the actual money printing factory incoming on the Crispy Bacon Overwatch YouTube channel. Alright, this was really a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Just spewed out a bunch of ideas, hopefully some of them stuck, you were able to do something with some of them. I'm gonna fucking uh, go and read some, and also meditate some, and then I'm gonna fucking pass out and have a productive day tomorrow. Hopefully you will do the same. Uh, yeah, appreciate you for watching this. Goodbye.